Hey everybody, this is Isaiah and today I'm looking at the ASUS EP121 which is ASUS's answer to the iPad. It has Windows 7 running on it and it is a uh, touch screen slate that includes Wacom pen support. Now that's not the pen that actually comes with the unit. Um, that's from Axiotron. Um, they are the makers of the Mod Book, which is a MacBook uh, kind of tablet PC, and they offer these pens for thirty dollars or so. This is a studio pen, and it includes actually a side switch, a dual side switch. So I have middle mouse button control and right mouse button control, but you can configure it however you like. And over here we have two 3D connection Space Pilots, which is an older version of 3D Connections, 3D Mice, pretty slick devices, and what they have is a knob that basically you can control the three-dimensional uh, view of the screen in six degrees of freedom, and then a number of different buttons that can be configured to do almost anything you like. It has a LED screen at the top uh, that gives you a readout of what the button functions do and shows you what buttons are pressed and what mode the device is in. Well, I wanted something a little bit more mobile for my slate and so what I did was I bought another one of these on eBay. You can buy them for $35, $40 sometimes on eBay and took a hacksaw to it and found out that the guts are actually pretty small on this guy. So this is kind of what I came up with here. This is does the same thing as this one over here, except it doesn't have the um, LED display anymore as I hack that away. And it has kind of like a duct tape steampunk look to it now. <laughs> uh, but uh, it works. It works just fine. Um, so the idea is, is that I'll actually have this on the back of the slate while I work. Um, and it's mobile. It's much more mobile. As you can see here, when I actually pulled, I'll take the parts off that I hacked off. I hacked off the screen and uh, I disconnected the ribbon and the power connector and everything seems to work just fine despite that it's missing. And then, of course, the palm rest is gone too and then the entire base of the unit is gone too and it has this giant chunk of metal that's actually very substantial it's very heavy it's most likely just to hold it down to the ground or hold it to the table so that you can so that you can wiggle this guy without it moving around and on the back of the EP case you'll hear there's actually they made it out of a, a material that actually responds really well to uh, Velcro. So to further my modification I'll actually include Velcro on the back of this device and just stick it here. And I'll probably actually end up using it more like this. It's really nice actually. See you can see it's out of orientation to the screen but the uh, 3D connection drivers allow you to kind of modify the axes uh, of the device so that you can kind of you can work in different ways and I actually tested it out and uh, having having the 3D mouse basically on the back of the screen and relatively facing the other way is actually pretty comfortable it actually works out pretty well but I'm not going to be showing you that because well I only have two hands and it requires quite a bit of coordination so what I'll do is um, I'll take and zoom my three-dimensional model here and I'll just show you basically that if I can get the white spots to go away maybe I'll bring this over here I'll just show you that it works so you can see that I can rotate my three-dimensional model that way and then of course when I push a hotkey, let me get the mouse oriented correctly here. And then of 
if I push the hotkey over here, I can pull up my menus. And I have my hotkeys configured for all kinds of different fun things. Um, and it makes just a really kind of unique mobile situation where you have a three-dimensional mouse and an incredible slate that's very portable. Not very good on battery life, but uh, give and take. And I'll take the EP121 over any of the other mobile tablet and slate solutions currently offered today. All right, I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll talk to you later.